Hello everyone, June here. I know some of you are interested in the Berta Style magazine, which is one of the few European pattern magazines that you can subscribe to in the US. So I thought that today I would give you a little flip through of the February 2019 issue, which is the one that I have right here, so that you can see whether this is something that might work for you or not. So let's get started. On the first page, there's always an index, which honestly I never look at because it's not that interesting. And um, I'm going to look at the whole magazine anyway, so why does it matter? Then uh, this page is all styles at a glance and it gives you an image of what all of the styles in the magazine look like without people in them, which is a really great uh, way to assess uh, the look of the garment because as you will see later, a lot of the poses of the models do not allow for a whole lot of assessing of what the clothing actually looks like. They tend to be very modelly rather than, you know, actually showing you the garment. So this is a trench coat. And uh, on the actual pages, if you look at this section here, they'll have a little line drawing of the garment. This is for this skirt. It'll tell you what the model number is. This is 103A, and A means that there's more than one variation. The variation is usually in color or um, in uh, textile and the fabric they use. And they have these dots here, which I hope you can see, but uh, there's four dots and they uh, indicate difficulty. So one being the least difficult and then four being the most difficult. This one is rated two, which is probably more like an advanced beginner pattern. They tend to normally not be very complicated, but I will show you the instructions later. And if you are not somewhat comfortable with sewing, you might have a little bit of trouble. Here we have uh, these ones are the sewing lessons, which means they have a little bit more instruction when we come to the instructions part. Um, and those are really great for beginners. This one is also rated two stars, so not terribly complicated. If you see these, these uh, markings here, that is for me, and that just means these are styles that I like and I would like to make. Um, although we'll like to make and actually get around to making our different things. Trousers and a dress. And they also give you uh, the information for the fabric they use for the garments that they are showing you, which is a great way to learn what sort of fabrics will work for each garment and what sort of fabrics wouldn't. Shirt dresses, blouses. Sometimes the styles are a little bit out there. They tend to be, Berta tends to be relatively fashion forward is what I'm trying to say. And sometimes if you look at magazines from say 10 years ago, a lot of the styles are still very much current because they're just that fashion forward. This means that the sizes for the dress or whatever garment they're showing you is in petite sizes. So they have been proportioned for women who are five, three um, to five feet, three inches um, in height or shorter. And they are known as half sizes. So 17 to 21, um, which is their normal petite size. Unfortunately, if you are short, but also higher than 21, which would equate to a size 42 in regular misses sizes, then you're gonna have to do a little bit of grading, but that is all right. This is just more than a pattern, a straight pattern magazine. It's a bit of a fashion magazine. So a lot of times they'll give you you know, um, suggestions for accessories for the garments in the issue, or how to pair them up with garments from previous issues. And it's overall, uh, I think, a, a, a pretty worthwhile investment if you are into sewing and fashion. A bit more of a sporty look here. These are some ponchos 
And so now we come to the uh, instructions and the actual pattern section. So here they give you some sewing tips at the beginning. They're not terribly extensive, but they are very helpful. If you are not very familiar with a lot of the terms that they use, they'll, uh, you know, give you, for example, you know, what is and gather means and so on. And they also tell you uh, somewhere around here what the markings on the instruct on the pattern sheet means and what the names are because the although the magazine comes in a variety of languages this one is in english the pattern sheets are the same for all and they are in german for the most part although they will have uh, um i don't think you're gonna be able to see it but they will have sometimes uh the term for example center front in german in spanish in english but not always then these are the styles at a glance but the line drawing a lot of times it is difficult to see what the uh, seam lines for designs are because of the fabric that they chose and this is a great way of actually seeing what the design is without the fabric. Uh, you can see design lines better, you can see uh, seam lines better and, and it just generally gives you a better idea of what the garment actually looks like. And for most people who sew with Berta, this is the, you know, the, the designed um, preview if you will that we look for because like i said sometimes it is so difficult to see what a garment looks like either on a model or even on the um on the first page on the designs at a glance of the actual garment being made as you can see this issue has some children's fashion that we'll come to later the sizing for berta ranges from um i want to say about a 36 to a 44 in misses and then 44 to 52 more or less in plus sizes and then um, not every issue but many issues will have either tall which is uh, double the sizes so instead of 17 to 21 it'll be um, I forget what the what the bottom range is but then they'll go to like size 72 it, it, it's what, whatever the misses equivalent is you double the number for tall and you have it for um, for petite and that's the size and they come up with so here is a size chart they'll tell you how to take your measurements and they'll give you girls uh, size charts boys women's um, okay so here's a half petite it goes from 17 to 26 but it never actually goes to 26 the garments only ever go to 21 and the women's tall sizes are 68 through 100 but again, I've never seen them in that wide of a range. They usually stop uh, way before that. The men's standard sizes um, and infants. And the women's sizes, the regular women's sizes in the chart, it goes all the way from 34 to 52. And that includes misses and um, uh, plus sizes. The garments on this magazine, there's always misses and plus sizes, but the designs are never the same. They don't overlap. So if you have a garment that is made in, um, in a regular miss, women's sizes, say uh, 38 to 42 or 44, that same design is not gonna appear as a plus size. They are completely different designs. And I could be wrong about this, but I think the reason is that they actually use two different blocks. So they are completely different designs. Um, they're not just graded up or down. And this is where the sewing instructions begin. So once you locate the design you want in the pictures, you come to the sewing instructions and you find the number. So 101 A and B, and this dress comes in two different colors in the magazine, that's why they have A and B. And here it will tell you in the pattern overview, which, um, uh, which sheet in the pattern, the, in the pattern sheet, this is complicated, which uh, sheet in the pattern sheet, the pattern comes in. So for this one, you'll have to go to sheet A and you'll have to find pattern pieces one through nine in the color black. And these jiggly lines here, which I'm hoping I can zoom in uh, in post to show you, tell you what size you are cutting. So this particular design goes from size 36 and the, and the lines for design 36 look like this to 44, which is a solid line. And then you locate that and you trace it and you cut. One thing to keep in mind is that the Berta magazine patterns do not have seam allowance. 
So the seam line or the, the lines that you see on the um, on the pattern sheet that we'll get to are the seam lines, not the cutting lines. So you have to add some to that, and that is a whole other ballpark. And I will be uh, more than happy to tell you how I do that. If you're interested, let me know in the comments, and I will do so. So here are all the designs, and they always start at 101. And the instructions are short and concise, and there's very few pictures but they are for the most part completely adequate. Uh, the few pictures that do exist uh, in these instructions are the line drawings, which now you've seen three times, the, uh, what the pattern pieces look like so that you know when you're tracing whether you're missing something, it will show you little notches where the notches should be so you can see them on the pattern to make sure that you didn't miss those. And sometimes, but not always, uh, it will show you, um, you know, things like this, um, you know, very specific, complicated kind of um, uh, steps in the instructions. And that is really about it. It will give you the fabrics that you need. So the length um, of your cut, how many yards you need, how wide it has to be, the type of fabric that it should be. It will give you um, any notions that you need to complete it. And obviously the sizes that it comes in. It will not give you finished garment sizes. So if you are used to finding what size to make from an envelope pattern by looking at the finished garment sizes, you're not going to find that here. The way that I go about that is I just measure the pattern pieces when I get to the uh, tracing stage. Okay. Move it up. And they are all much of a muchness. And here we get to the pattern sheets, which look you know, like a maze of lines because they are. So they are stapled in the middle and you obviously have to pull this apart. And these spread up really big, bigger than I can show you in this uh, video here. But this is what they look like. And I think the red ones uh, that are shaded, um, whether they be red or sometimes they're blue or what have you, they I think are the pattern um, courses one, which it's the blouse that I showed you before that um, it was a sewing course. So that one will have more extensive instructions. So they are easier to find on the pattern sheets as well. And the pattern sheets give you, give you everything that you need, you know, cutting lines and notches and everything, uh, buttonhole placements. But it can look pretty intimidating. But it's really not once you get the hang of it. And then back to the instructions, move quickly through these. And I, I'm not sure where the course, um, the uh, uh, sewing course comes in this one, but maybe we'll get to it. Uh, and then some helpful hints on how to insert an invisible zipper or um, under stitch or facing and so on. So there are techniques that are in the instructions that you need to be able to do and you may not know how to do them. Sometimes they'll have um, this here. Now we get to the children's patterns. There isn't always a children's section in this magazine. It's every so often, but not always. And as with everything, there. Uh, if there are children's patterns, they tend to be heavily biased towards girls. There seems to be little uh, supply um, of boys' patterns, I should say, throughout the sewing community in general. Apparently, you know, people don't sew for boys. But anyhow, this one is all girls, like little girls at that. And in the last few years, they have started to release some of their older patterns. So Berta has been going on, I think, since the 50s. So every issue will have a retro style pattern. And as you can see, this is what it looked like uh, when it was first released and then they re-release it. Now, I don't know whether they redraft just based on the look or whether they're actually the same patterns they released the first time around. But there's one of these in every issue these days. Um, as far as I as I know. And now we get to the plus fashions. These used to be all the way in the back, but now they are somewhat intermixed with the uh, the straight misses sizes. They um, are not always terribly stylish. I mean, that looks like a garbage bag tied at the waist. 
but sometimes they are really great. And the thing is that if you are like me, where I, I'm a size 44, give or take, in, in Berta, so I straddle uh, the divide between misses and plus sizes, so um, that is a good thing if you are uh, an in-betweeny like me. There we go. And, and as you can see, a lot of times like, you can see what the garment looks like, but other times the poses are so uh, fashiony, moderately that it's really difficult to tell. Now we're back to uh, straight misses sizes. I mean, like, look at that. Like, can you really tell? No, you can't. Or here, for example. Aha, so now we get to um, the sewing course, which I think is also, I think there's more than one. So here, as you can see, you get a lot more instructions than you would in the back of the magazine. I'm sorry, in the center of the magazine with the other instructions. These are very minimal. These are much more detailed. You have pictures for every step. So if you are learning to sew, uh, and you want to just jump in the deep end with Berta, these are the patterns that I recommend you start with. They tend to be, like I said, relatively easy and with all these instructions, there really is no reason why you shouldn't succeed. There you go. Yeah, so lots of instructions. I mean, people complain that Berta instructions are terrible um, and they are very uh, minimal and that can be true, but they also do include a lot of other information that will teach you how to sew uh, their patterns and other patterns as well. Okay. This is the other sewing lesson, which is the blouse. I mean, it's everything they tell you with the interface and everything. So uh, how to add the seam allowances. So the pink here is where the, the pattern that they give you uh, comes to and then the excess so to the gray line is the seam allowance that you add that is that blouse that they were showing you how to make and then we come to the last page and there's, al there's always a preview to the next issue and in the next issue uh, March tends to be the wedding issue so there will have a lot of uh, wedding dresses and if they have that uh, in the next issue, that will be very interesting because that would be an enormous pattern. But anyhow, so it, it tells you sort of what the themes for the next issue will be, like, you know, palm tree, feel the heat, very tropical, but also wedding. Uh, sometimes you really can't tell. And then here is the suppliers that they use to source the materials for the garments that they made to show you in the magazine. I never look at that. They are all usually in Germany. Um, and I'm not in Germany, so I don't bother. And then we come to the end, and the end is just about um, their other patterns or their envelope patterns. In this case, it's about um, children's... Um, oh, which now they says that every month, Berta Style magazines will include a collection of children's fashions. That is new, that has not always been the case. So great if you have littler kids. They tend to, like I said, buy those girls and, and littler kids. If you have tweens or teens like me, um, then uh, I don't know how helpful that would be to you. But everything else in the magazine is pretty great. And I do like it a lot. The garments tend to fit better than, say, uh, McCall's or Vogue or Simplicity, simply because they have a lot less ease and the fit is more consistent but you do have to make garments that are um, muslins first because if you have never worked with them and they have no um, finished garment measurements there's really no way to know so you do have to do that but anyhow i hope you have enjoyed that and i hope that it has been helpful and uh, if you have any questions about uh, berta or tracing patterns or anything of the sort do let me know and i will try to get back to you thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye